Good morning. My name is David Vanderveen, Oakland County Director of Central Services and, and uh, Chair of the Fire and Ice Committee. And uh, we thank you for coming out to uh, help us preview our annual event, preview our annual event today. Uh, this is going to be, it's hard to believe, this is the 13th year um, of the Fire and Ice Festival. And I think the mayor pro tem is here. I mean, his mayor, Stuart Bixon, was mayor when we started this event, I think, 13 years ago. And he's, he's going to be recycled this year. So uh, it's, this is our annual weekend uh, uh, for fire and ice or whatever, fire and whatever Mother Nature brings us. Uh, the good news is uh, we, the, the county teams up with the city of Rochester, the Rochester DDA. Uh, I think Chrissy Trevero is here, the head of the DAA, the administrator. Our Parks and Recreation Department, Sue Wells is here, who heads up that as the manager of our Parks and Recreation Division. And, and, uh, the, and our, our four groups, the, the county, the uh, Oakland County Parks and Rec Commission, the downtown DDA, and the city of Rochester team up. And uh, we have a weekend of family fun. And we're looking forward to another good one this weekend. And our, the purpose of this uh, coming up on the 17th, 18th, and 19th, the purpose when we started it was to embrace the Michigan winter. We have all kinds of events in the summertime, but we don't, we, we thought we ought to do something in the wintertime. The city of Rochester already had its great bright light show going on in, in the ice sculptures, and we just had sort of a value added. Uh, this year um, is a special year for the county, and uh, I'm going to ask David Coulter, our county executive, to come up and tell you why, and also to uh, tell you about this year's event. Uh, David, as you may know, is, the, is a veteran of county government. He's the only person who served as both on the county commission for, was for I believe, eight years, and now is the Oakland County Executive, the only one that's done, done both, the legislative and the executive branch. Uh, he was appointed by the board six months ago and literally, I say literally, hit the ground running. Uh, he brings an enormous amount of energy to the job. He's a uh, positive leader going about building coalitions uh, and folks, uh, he's making a difference. So let's welcome our county executive, Dave Coulter. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dave, and thank you for all your hard work on working on fire and ice like you always do, chairing the board. David does an incredible, incredible job. Uh, as Dave mentioned, this is our uh, winter event to celebrate the great quality of life in Oakland County, and I'm so uh, honored to be able to kick this off with you today. Brooks Patterson founded this event 13 years ago, and I have to tell you, <clears throat> having been the mayor of Ferndale for the last uh, nine years, I know a little something about events, because we do a lot of events there, and I think we do a lot of cool ones there. We know how important it is. Um, our residents tell us in the surveys over and over again that these kind of events uh, really uh, make the community seem like home. They, they really bring people together and they're an important part of what we do to make sure that our county and our cities uh, are vibrant places for our families uh, to live, work, and play. So I'm, I'm really excited to be here, uh, partnering, of course, with the city of Rochester, downtown Rochester, our Oakland County Parks and Rec. Lots of folks uh, come together to put on this event and they do just an outstanding job. The other thing about this event that is cool is that it's absolutely free. So anybody from Oakland County or Southeast Michigan or anywhere else that wants to come, you can come here absolutely free and enjoy all of the incredible things that there are to do. And the reason it's free, let's just be honest, is because we have some awesome sponsors. Let me just thank them right now because they really do uh, make this possible and keep it free for all of our residents. Our presenting sponsor is Vibe Credit Union. We literally couldn't do this without their sponsorship and we thank them so uh, very much. We are at Rochester Mills Beer Company uh, and they are one of the uh, sponsors of this event. They're a major sponsor of this event along with Rush Shelton, Buick GMC, Consumers Energy, Buffalo Wild Winds, Buyers Wrecker Service, Heat Treating Services Corporation of America, Premier Pet Supply, Renewal by Anderson, and Rock Solid Interior, Exteriors, excuse me. So patronize those firms and when you go there, tell them you appreciate their support of Fire and Ice. Now, 
As Dave alluded to, the ice part, well, we shall see. I don't have a magic wand. Right now, there's not a lot of snow in the forecast, but you know, this is Michigan, and it can change on a dime. And so we'll be prepared either way. There'll be a lot of great events to do if it's cold and snowy, probably even more to do if it's cold and snowy, but there'll be a lot to do uh, even if it's not, and we've experienced that over the years. So we're really, we're really good at both of these. Um, in fact, if you look at the, the, the events that are, that are held, and let me just pull those up for a minute, you know, the sledding and the ice skating and the ice carvings and the face paintings and the marshmallow roasting, all of that will still go on. And let's face it, the food trucks and the beer tent will be here regardless, and I know that's a big draw for a lot of folks. So there's no excuse not to come. And in addition, the fireworks. The fireworks on Friday and Saturday night are spectacular. They, they, they highlight this great downtown, and that alone and is, is worth coming out for. So uh, I, I hope everybody makes plans uh, from, as Dave mentioned, the 17th to the 19th. Put it on your schedule and come out, out and join us. Now this year I'm ex especially excited because we're also, in addition to this being the 13th annual Fire and Ice, this is the kickoff for us, the official kickoff of Oakland County's 200th birthday. We are celebrating our bicentennial this year with a whole host of events and special things going on all year long, but we're gonna kick it off right here at Fire and Ice. There's a special ice carving uh, that you'll get to see. It's here today and it'll also be at the festival that, that celebrates the great things that we do here in Oakland County and for as long as we've done it. Now, Dave, there's no truth that you were around for those first few years, right? All right. <laughs> uh, and the fireworks show in particular will be our signature event to help kick off uh, 200 years of Oakland County. Uh, and uh, now technically the birthday is March 28th, just after my birthday, <clears throat> just saying if you want to start shopping early. Um, but in order to help us uh, recognize that and to give us a little bit more detail about the, the bicentennial, which has been in the works for a couple of years. I mean, we've got this covered. We're gonna have an entire year of special events and celebrations. And that was made possible by a committee of our board of commissioners who have been working to make sure that we do this right and we celebrate this great county. And so I wanna bring up uh, my friend, County Commissioner Gary McGilvery, to talk just a little bit about the bicentennial and what that's gonna mean for Oakland County and some of the things that we're going to be doing this year. So, Commissioner McGilvery. Thanks, Dave. First of all, I want to thank everybody that's involved um, uh, on behalf of the Board of Commissioners, as well as the Parks uh, Board that I sit on as well. Uh, we're, the Parks our Department is so thrilled to be able to help put this event on with Rochester and the DDA. Um, as, as Dave pointed out, this is our 200th celebration this year. Uh, there are a lot of events. We have a whole committee that's set up to do things. Some of the things that we want to do is plant a lot, a lot more oak trees around the county. Um, uh, we're talking uh, thousands, I, as, as I understand it at this point. It's just a matter of ordering them and uh, getting them out to the local communities to plant. There's many other things that also. Um, so. On behalf of the Board of Commissioners, I'm thrilled to be here today. Uh, I'll be attending the, the Fire and Ice Festival. I, I have for the last few years. One year you stand at the fire pits the whole night trying to keep warm, and this year we're gonna have mud, mud wrestling, I think, so uh, we'll see what happens. But make sure you come out, and uh, hopefully we can get more of these kind of festivals uh, countywide all the way around the county, so thanks so much. Now, I mentioned that the birthday is actually on March 28th, and one of the special events, and put this on your calendar, is that the Detroit Zoo, which is not only uh, a premier um, entertainment, should you say, or cultural attraction in Oakland County, but really around the state, uh, is going to help us kick off that day uh, with discounts for county residents and a whole bunch of cool things happening at the zoo. So you can mark that birth date on your calendars at the Detroit Zoo, because we're looking forward to that as well. So, but. Just to highlight some of the other things that are gonna be happening this year at Fire and Ice, uh, we're gonna have the Collegiate Ice Carving Competition, which begins Saturday morning, so uh, really excited to see that. And if you've never watched them actually carving the ice, it's fascinating, and I invite you to come out and watch our college students do that. 
Uh, the fireworks display, of course, every fr the Friday and Saturday night at 8 p.m., 8 o'clock, so not too late, not too cold, but you know, it should be a great, uh, great fireworks. And then it's going to be the seventh running of the Brooksy Way Chill at the Mills 5K race. We already have almost 500 runners signed up for that race, and I think that'll be really exciting. So for you runners out there, something for you to do as well. Uh, the Rochester Fire Department uh, has their annual spaghetti dinners that uh, Friday and Saturday night, and that goes to support youth assistance, which was just a great organization in our county, and I, I wholly encourage you to do that as well. And our animal control folks are going to have pet adoptions here, so if you're in the market for a cat or dog and you want to see what's available, our animal control folks will be here to, to help show off our animals as well. So again, the, the Fire and Ice Festival runs Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, uh, that Martin Luther King weekend. So come on out uh, and make sure you see us down here. Uh, not only and, and, and take advantage of downtown Rochester, not only then, but all through the years. So thank you very much for uh, your attention and have a great festival. Thank you, Mr. Executive. Uh, I mentioned uh, earlier that one of our partners is, is the City of Rochester, and uh, with us today is the Mayor Pro Tem from Rochester, Dean Bavacqua. Uh, Dean, you're here, I think. Come on up. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. Very happy to be hosting this event again for another year. It's a wonderful event here in Rochester. It's a collaboration between uh, local businesses, the DDA, the county, and uh, our wonderful city. It's an event that brings 40,000 people into our downtown to uh, enjoy everything that we have to offer. It rounds out our holiday events, which, <coughs> which include, excuse me, which include the, uh, the Big Bright Light Show, which uh, attracts uh, hundreds of thousands of people down here over the season, and um, we're just very happy to once again be part of this and would like to thank everyone else who's involved. Um, very excited um, to kick off the event here today and looking forward to everyone coming down and enjoying our festivities. Thanks a lot. All right, so that concludes our press conference. I want you to know that there are ice carvings here, including the 200th anniversary carving, um, which has joined us today. But uh, on the chance that there may be some questions, I'm, we're also happy to do that as well. So any questions that any of you might have? Mm, going once, going twice. All right, cool, I'll see you over at the ice carvings. Thanks, everybody.